he, he come in, was walking into Jerusalem, and they were all happy that he was coming in, walking into Jerusalem, and singing Hosanna, and waving their palms, even put them down for him to walk on. And then, whenever they went to crucify him, they all joined the, the, the wrong people, I guess you could say, and wanted him crucified because they thought that he wasn't Jesus Christ. Well, they just put them in their house, running in their house somewhere. I always put mine in my dining room, on to, laid up on top of my china cabinet. I have had people tell me that when they had storms coming, that they would take off one little piece of palm leaf and burn it and pray that the storm wouldn't hit them. Well, they get them from people like me. I have palms in my yard, and I didn't this year, but a lot of years I cut them and take them to the church. The priest presses them, and then everybody can take one or more than one. At the beginning of Lent, it's the time to take your old palms out and burn them. What they do is like at the churches, they have palms and they have them, like when they use them to decorate the church, they save them. And the next year, just before Ash Wednesday, they burn all their palms and they stiff them and that's where they get the ashes that they put on people's foreheads. I do know that these are called sago palms. They're not, they say they're not a true palm. But down here, all your churches use these. Now, like in, around the Monroe area, I know they don't use them. Those big palm trees like you see, they, they just get those blades. You don't, when you get a palm, you just get one of those long pieces of blade.